I'm Roberta Cremoncini, the director of the History Collection. The museum opened in 1998 in London, and we are the only museum dedicated to 20th century Italian art outside Italy. The collection includes a nucleus of futurist works, as well as uh, a number of uh, drawings, uh, paintings, and um, sculpture by main artists of the 20th century, including Giorgio De Chirico, Amadeo Modigliani, and um, Giorgio Morandi. Our current exhibition is dedicated to the works of Alexander Rajchpenko and is the relationship with the Italian avant-garde. Alexander Rajchpenko is definitely one of the most important artists and sculptor of the 20th century, but his relationship with the, with the artists of Italian avant-garde is not so well known, and most people probably know his works less than his actual name. Rajchpenko was born in 1887 in Ukraine and moved to Paris in 1909, where he met and uh, became uh, very familiar with the Cubist style. He also developed a very much um, interest for the robust and angular forms of the African art. Archipenko was one of the relatively uh, small number of artists which attempted to update the vocabulary of sculpture in the 20th century. And um, up to the point, uh, sculpture was dominated by figures such as uh, Rodin, who were much more interested in the human body. Achipenko was again um, interested as well in, in exploring the human figure, but he didn't want to have uh, um, his sculptures so overworked and very heavy. He was much more interested in streamlining the silhouette and trying to give forms a certain angular shapes. This uh, revolutionary approach was very much in line with um, some of the ideas of the futurists. And around 1912, Archipenko became uh, aware of the works and the writings of Umberto Boccioni, the Italian futurist. And um, the similar attempt of um, simplifying sculpture and also using different materials such as wood, uh, together with the plaster and uh, other examples, fascinated very much the futures, but also was very much aligned with the ideas of uh, Alexander Rajpenko. In this exhibition, we can see various parallels between the works of the futurist and Rajpenko. For example, um, Severini's Ballerina plus C and the, the Ballerina by uh, Rajpenko, they share very much the same interest for the movement and also the lover color, which is uh, uh, very much particular of the futurists and not, uh, much less uh, uh, present in the Cubist works. Also, uh, during um, the interwar years, uh, Archipenko worked and uh, explored much more the idea of uh, streamlining, uh, uh, leaving the shapes much more uh, simplified and uh, but still quite robust, which is uh, in a way very much in opposition to the idea of a return to order, which was dominant after the First World War. After the First World War, um, Alexander Archipenko developed many conversations and many relationships with uh, Italian artists, including uh, Nikolai Dulgarov and Enrico Prampolini. And Prampolini was uh, um, a great friend and they collaborated many, in, many times. And in the exhibition, we can see uh, Prampolini is in a photograph together with Archipenko, it was a photograph taken by uh, Bragaglia. Also, Prampolini published many of uh, Archipenko's works in his uh, uh, magazine Noi. And also, it is uh, uh, interesting to see the other uh, sculptures, such as Tayat, um, Ernesto Michaelis, who was inspired very much in the 1930s by um, the works of Archipenko. We also explore other uh, relationships between Archipenko and the works of uh, metaphysical artists, such as Giorgio De Chirico and uh, Carlo Carrà. And um, there is uh, very much um, similarities between the use of uh, mannequin and puppet shapes, which they are um, parallel between the two artists as well. A review um, of, the, of the exhibition noted that the, there is very much a celebration of uh, um, international and um, the, the open borders culture that was very much present at the time. And uh, this is something that we definitely we people will agree. The exhibition is on display until the 4th of September and has been organized with the Archipenko Foundation in New York. The exhibition is also accompanied by a catalogue and um, with an essay by the curator Maria Elena Versari. And we're looking forward to welcome you during the summer. <laughs>